So basically, what we learned is, oh, we need to run. Is that Wolf isn't actually pure AI, considering his, uh, his, body, his uh, intelligence was grabbed after a human brain. So he's not pure of artificial intelligence. Uh, the reason why I'm ignoring everyone is because this place is falling apart! So I have no time for fighting. I just run. Run, 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 run! Oh, this guy, I have no choice. I have to fight him because he's in the way! Where'd he go? Get back to him. Those explosives didn't go off when I was standing on them. The thing would have fallen off the wall. Japanese garden, they say. Hmm, looks nice. I like it. I can see why they keep it uh, for VIPs, is because it's supposed to be tranquil and uh, like special. Uh, but these guys are not special.
Don't destroy the trees. Hashtag save the trees. level was still high so I was like okay is there something else still around He's facing the door. Yeah, he's going to uh, shoot me with a rocket when I go through the door. But luckily, there's another way. There's a way to go around. Landed on top of him, and he didn't even notice. Good, Ryder. Very good. <laughs> this guy was an idiot. You're good. You guys are not good at this game.
I said, I'm not good at this game. It's called hide and seek. I had you seek me, but you're doing a terrible job of finding me. Looks like I won. And y'all's lost. Look at your panties on a twist. My apologies, Riker. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should have thanked you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then, that is your true nature. More or less. Still interested? I find no reason to alter my objectives. From the moment we met, you have acted on emotional urges. You speak of protecting those weaker than you. Such people number in the billions. It is impossible. You cannot save every human being in the world. You cannot save every street child. After extended observation, I have come to a conclusion. Your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, then glad to have you along. Roger. Yeah, that's a nice compliment. I think. I, I think that was a compliment. I wasn't paying attention. Speaking of not paying attention, <laughs> wait for this guy to come my way and then walk back. I'll sneak take him. Oh, walk back. That's it. That's what you get for not paying attention. Looks like that guy is just gonna stand there. Look at this guy's moving around. Yeah, he's just gonna stand there. Yeah, I'm getting my sneakers in now. 
I was like, I had a rough start, but I managed to, I managed to get my sneakers out. Uh, before we go uh, up into the other winter, you want to come over here and destroy this vent. They're not destroyed enough. <laughs> there we go. Health upgrade! Boys, I was wondering what took you so long. to the floor. That's only the first wave. bubble but those shields don't protect you forever I'll take that Round two. Oh, great. They destroyed the freight elevator. They damaged it. Little 
things right here are gonna try to stop you from getting on the other elevator. Stop you and fail, of course, because all you have to do is knock them away. I did get a little hurt by the fire. The Now that way it leads to the direction that we need to go, so not to what it goes here. Anyway, 
Those guys, we'll get them another way. Such as? Well, I mean, just getting the brains on our side could change a lot. World Marshal's got an iron grip on the government. Wall Street, too. Legal action's not gonna work. But you can bet the media's gonna descend on Denver like flies once you're done here. Once you've rescued those brains, they can start talking about VR training. If nothing else, it'll definitely change public opinion. And quickly. World Marshal's stock will plunge, giving him less influence in Washington. We could see a managerial change. And, you know, the guy running the project would probably be demoted. Reassigned, at least. Demoted? For cutting up kids? That's punishment? It's gotta be Armstrong running all this. A guy who publicly has nothing to do with World Marshal. I... Yeah. Anyway, you'll have to wait. The way Monsoon was talking, Sam and Sundowner are in here somewhere. Taking them out to start, at least. Cambodian, Courtney? Wh what? That's a little random. Apparently, that's where Monsoon's from, originally. Just trying to cover all the bases. <laughs> Not sure how this could be important, but... Well, the two Cambodian dishes I know best are amok and something called Pong Ti Kong. Amok is fish covered in coconut milk and other flavorings, and wrapped in banana leaves. I had it once. It's really exotic, both in looks and taste. Definitely recommend it. If you like fish. And the other? Pong Ti Kong? It's also known as Balut in some countries. It's pretty popular in Vietnam and the Philippines, too. I... Well, you know how I try to keep an open mind about other countries' cuisine. But Balut is definitely a love-hate thing. So, what is it? Well, it's basically a boiled duck's egg. But the embryo's fertilized, so there's this duck-like thing inside. I've tried a lot of odd foods in my time, but that's where I drew the line. Don't be so picky, Courtney. Maybe it tastes better than it looks. Okay. How about you try it first, then? Sure. Once I'm done here, we'll all have to go out for it together. Deal. You better make it back and keep that promise, Ryden. I'll watch you eat it, at least. <laughs> when? I am looking forward to ending this, though. Wouldn't mind getting my old jaw back. Would be a little hard to eat normal food without it, you know. <laughs> you could always use a straw. <laughs> <laughs> because he has a... He's a metal jaw. And it's just kind of a little hard to eat food with a metal jaw. Uh, and uh, 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 what that question, what they were talking about is, is cause as you know, um, animals that lay eggs like chickens or ducks, uh, their babies grow inside the eggs. And basically <laughs> what he was, she was talking about is basically they took the egg as the baby was growing and boiled it alive. Gross. Nasty and just downright cruel. So, Doc, what are we going to do with those brains? Well, I appreciate the bountiful data we've gleaned from them so far. But they're certainly draining a great deal of my lab's resources. If not for the costs, we'd gladly host them well into the future. <laughs> Don't think I can cover that. I'm unemployed now, remember? Besides, it wouldn't be healthy for the kids. It's certainly more healthy than a hard scrabble life in a disease-ridden alley. Well, if you put it like that, yeah. But they can't even engage in real human interaction. They're facing an entire life spent in a virtual room. It's not right. Well, we could expand their VR quarters and add more human communication. Would that work? You're missing the point, Doc. Ah, I spoke in jest. In fact, we've already begun researching a prototype child body. But you must realize our lab cannot provide these bodies free of charge. Yeah. And once in physical bodies, the question then becomes how they will live after that. All right, let's pick this up later. I gotta worry about the brains in World Marshal for now. Yes. Worry about getting that data first. I have reached the Japanese garden. Please continue on your way. Okay, Wolf. I will continue on my way. <laughs> 